The electric sports car everyone's been waiting for still hasn't arrived, and no, I'm not talking about another concept tease. I'm talking about a real, lightweight, driver-focused EV that's actually coming to the United States, and it's from a tiny British company most Americans barely know. Hey there, this is Hussein, and welcome back to EVpedia, your go-to home for everything electric vehicles. Today's story is wild because while one of the biggest names in EVs keeps a legendary sports car stuck in limbo, a small automaker has quietly decided to step in and do what others wouldn't. Before we go any further, if you enjoy deep, honest EV stories like this, a quick like and subscribe really helps EVpedia grow and bring you more content like this. Now, quick standard note before we dive in. This video is for informational and educational purposes only, using publicly available details, and all trademarks mentioned belong to their respective owners. Four years now, the next-generation Tesla Roadster has been the ultimate electric what-if. Announced with massive promises, jaw-dropping numbers, and futuristic hype, yet still missing in action. That gap has left enthusiasts who want a small, lightweight, thrilling electric sports car with almost no real options. And that's exactly where Caterham steps in. Caterham is a low-volume British automaker famous for building raw, no-nonsense sports cars inspired by the legendary Lotus 7. These are cars built for people who care more about driving feel than flashy screens. And now, Caterham is bringing its first-ever electric sports car, called the Project V, to America. The Project V first appeared as a show car in 2023, but it recently made its first major United States appearance at CES in Las Vegas, marking Caterham's serious entry into the American market. And for the first time in its long history, the company has openly admitted something surprising. Ignoring America for decades was a mistake, and now they are fully committed to selling cars here. The production version of the Caterham Project V is planned to go on sale in the United States next year. This is not a hypercar, and it's not trying to be. It's designed as a simple, thrill-focused electric sports coupe with just enough modern tech to meet regulations and nothing more than necessary. Power comes from a single electric motor mounted at the rear, producing around 268 horsepower. That power is delivered through a 400-volt electrical system, keeping things straightforward and efficient. There's no all-wheel drive complexity here, just rear-wheel drive, exactly how driving purists like it. The battery setup is where things get really interesting. Instead of one large pack, Caterham splits the battery into two separate units, each holding just over 27 kilowatt hours. One battery sits in front of the passenger cabin, and the other is placed at the rear. This clever layout keeps the center of gravity extremely low and gives the car proportions similar to classic combustion sports cars. Because of this design, the seating position is very low, almost hugging the road, which is exactly what Caterham customers expect. This isn't an electric car that feels like an appliance. It's built to feel alive. On a full charge, the Project V is expected to deliver a WLT period range of roughly 249 miles. Charging speed is capped at around 100 kilowatts, which isn't groundbreaking, but Caterham openly admits that charging speed isn't their priority. Their focus is on sustained performance. Many EVs reduce power when pushed hard due to heat buildup, especially on track days. Caterham expects its owners to drive hard, repeatedly, and they engineered the battery system specifically to handle fast discharge without throwing the car into limp mode. In simple terms, this EV is built to be abused, and it knows it. And yes, this is a big one for American buyers. The Project V will use a Tesla-style North American charging standard port. That means access to the growing NACS charging network without adapters, which is something even some larger automakers are still catching up to. Inside the cabin, the theme continues. Simple, focused, and refreshingly old school. There's a small center touchscreen for essentials like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the rear view camera. The dashboard itself is flat and minimal, and the instrument cluster is fully analog. In a world obsessed with massive displays, this car proudly brings back real gauges. It's almost rebellious. To keep costs down and production realistic, Caterham uses off-the-shelf components wherever possible. The electric motor and integrated inverter come from Yamaha Motor. The battery packs are supplied by Shing Mobility. Early prototypes even use door openings similar to the Audi TT and seats shared with Maserati. It's a parts-bin approach done intelligently, not cheaply. Originally, Caterham hoped to price the Project V just over $107,000. Global realities changed that plan. 
The latest estimate puts the price closer to around $135,000 in the United States. That sounds expensive, and it is. This is not a mass market EV. It's a weekend car, a second car, a passion purchase. But Caterham believes the price makes sense, especially with electric versions of the Porsche Cayman and Boxster coming soon, which are expected to land in a similar price range. Caterham is confident that while Porsche may bring polish and prestige, the Project V will deliver something harder to measure on paper. Pure fun. And let's be honest, if fun were easy to measure, we'd all be driving spreadsheets instead of cars. So here's the big question I asked you to think about. Can a small, low-volume automaker actually succeed in America by building an electric sports car focused purely on driving joy, while giants hesitate? The answer is yes, if they stay true to what enthusiasts actually want. Caterham isn't trying to replace Tesla. They're doing what Tesla never did, building a lightweight electric sports car that prioritizes feel over flash. Personally, I think the Project V represents a turning point. It proves that the future of EVs doesn't have to be silent, heavy, and disconnected. There's room for passion, simplicity, and driver engagement, even in the electric era. Here's a fun fact to wrap things up. Caterham's gas-powered cars often weigh less than half of many modern EVs, and the Project V is engineered to stay as light as realistically possible for an electric vehicle, which is a huge reason it should feel so special on the road. Now, I really want to hear from you. Would you take a Caterham Project V over a future electric Porsche, or would you still wait for the Tesla Roadster? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If this story resonated with you, show your support by liking the video, sharing your opinion, and helping us hit 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. Subscribe to EVpedia for more honest EV stories that actually matter. And if you want to support the channel even more, consider joining our membership to keep EVpedia powered and independent. You can also check out the tag gear and EV accessories below the video if you spotted something useful today. Thanks for being part of the EVpedia family. Stay curious, stay electric, and I'll see you in the next one.